Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your mid-monthly reading, um, mid-October. So, uh, some of you still have birthdays, I want to say happy birthday, if not, is it Libra? I don't even know what day it is, it's still Libra, yeah, happy birthday Libra. Alright, let's keep going. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to build from the Angel Answers card cards. Um, we're going to start with those. So what just popped out is you're ready. All right. Okay. So Libra, if you're feeling like you're not ready, you are. Oh, yes. Wow. Nice. Libra, Libra's so lucky. Libra and Sagittarius, like the luckiest people I know. Compromise. Yes. Yes. Perfect timing. Wow. Thanks, Libra. Bottom of the deck in the near future. All right. So you got a timeline. Let's get some clarifying cards on here. So, you know, this could be, it's just general read. It could be for money, finance, career. It could be for love. Apply it to your life as you see fit. If it doesn't resonate, just throw it all out, okay? You're ready. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. I, I wanted to do just two. Wow, the lovers, the king of cups, the two of swords. Somebody's making a real life altering decision here. Um, you, Libra, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Libra like yourself, or you could be making a decision to to accept a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female. Maybe even a Gemini. We won't get too hung up on signs. What this says is that two souls are coming together by way, you know, of angelic bringing them together. Together. Now, what those two souls do when they come together is completely free will. But someone is offering a cup. They are very much in love, but also in control of their emotion. You don't trust this person because of past hurts and or regrets. This King of Cups is sometimes Scorpio, uh, Pisces. It could be Cancer too. They're choosing you, Libra, but look where you are. I think this is Sun and Libra, right? Indecisive. And you have great reason to be. The moon is here. Alright. But what it's... But your Angel Answers card says you're ready. You're ready. You're ready for this. You've, you've wanted the connection for a very long time, but... It was so, it was janky in the past. It was all, they had you in some, some craziness. So now you are here. Get a yes answer. What is this yes about? Wow, Ace of Cups. Yes, this love is blessed by the heavens. It's protected. What this says is that bringing the, okay, the, I think this is Archangel Michael, I'm not sure. The angel bringing these two souls back together, right? The angel would bring an old janky person back to you. This person had some change happen within their life. And within them, themselves. They're ready. You're ready. 
Wow, Ace of Cups. Yes, yes, this is love. Yes, it's blessed. Yes, you're protected. Trust the connection. Yes, they were they were janky as hell in the past. I mean, they just they can have you up all night long talking about how horrible they were. But now somebody is truly in love. These all came out reverse, and it's like ten cards. So we're not taking it. All right, one more card for the yes answer. Libra, come on. What you doing? Ace of Cups and Temperance. This is a perfect time for you. In this relationship, you find balance within each other. The yin and the yang. You both have done a lot of spiritual work. Or somebody's more spiritual than the other. Somebody's pouring more into the other. More spiritually information something this person or you you find balance here it could be Sagittarius I don't know definitely water sign heavy um, love is here love is definitely here for you nice my little Libra moon. Mm -hmm. I, I need some of this. <laughs> Compromise. Ooh, ooh, not Libra strong suit. But okay. Compromise. Ten of Cups. <laughs> if Compromise is going to get me to Ten of Cups, then I'm already doing it, Libra. Come on. What are you doing? What's going on here? One more card. Let's see. Three of three. Work together. Recognize that this person is trying to give you the the highest level of happiness. That they they love you to the moon and back, Libra. Recognize what they have done or what they're doing to try to bring this together to try to work with you and partner with you and you need to compromise you need to meet them halfway perfect timing perfect timing perfect Nine of Swords. Perfect timing. Hmm. You have high anxiety about something in a, in a surrounding a timeline. If it's not happening right here, right now, I'm done. This is, of course, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is keeping you up at night. Some of you are getting like heavy downloads, dreams that make sense but make no sense and it is driving you up a wall but what spirit says is that things are happening in perfect timing not your timing so you can be up the wall as long as you like it's still happening in perfect timing um, this is a very very nice reading um, Three of Wands. This is so beautiful. This could be in career and finance too. You, high anxiety. Can't sleep at night. But look what's coming. Your ships. The Four of Wands. That's the next card. You've done the work. Things are coming together in perfect timing for Libra. This is a beautiful A reading. I don't even curse like that, but this is a high priestess at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are dealing with a Piscean person or an Aquarian person. Yeah. Um, this is 
What this says is do nothing and be still. See, the high priestess is the all-knowing. She knows spiritually. It looks like you know that something is for you, but you continue to jump back in your head about it instead of resting and trusting in spirit. The high priestess makes no moves because she already knows what is for her or him is for her or him and to be out just doing stuff for no reason at all or for whatever reason makes sense when you're in a nine of swords type of mental would mess up perfect timing and it would mess up the spiritual uh, path and connection and timing so the high priest is the advice of the high priest is wait and do nothing because you know she's all knowing get more spiritually grounded too so you can be one step ahead spiritually you know you have you ever heard those people you ever talk to people sometimes i used to think they were like completely delusional mostly women um and this is feminine energy. Uh, they would be talking about maybe a, a guy that they've known for years or whatever. And then they go and they say, yeah, I just know we're going to be together. We're probably going to get married. And I'm like, he's not even talking to you right now. You know. It's now, granted, some of those people are delusional. But then some of those women, men, whatever... Some of those people are just, they know. They just know. And to get in there and muck it up even more is just spirit having to do extra work to bring you guys together. Just do nothing. So sometimes it's just about that. That inner knowing. And, and really knowing. Don't, don't psych yourself out. Come on. Anyway, I don't want to get too deep in that because I can go you know, down the rabbit hole and people will be like, what? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to finish this up at my website to see what the outcome is for Libra, especially if they take the advice of the high priestess, okay? So, uh, oh, let me give you a butterfly oracle card. These have a shuffle. Thank you for blessing Libra with a message. Welcome the new God, gosh darn it, Libra, for real, for real. Is this for real? This can't be. It's a beautiful reading. <laughs> Join in. Join a group. A group of like-minded people. Wow, self-employment. So if some of this is if this is highlighted for you, Libra, I know it is for me and my Libra moon, but self-employment and i said some of this could be you know financial know that it's happening for you you're gonna have complete abundance yeah. join in join a group of like-minded individuals um, this is different from like joining so this card talks about physically joining a group not virtually like no Get out in the world. Go meet other people. Do the old-fashioned thing. Right? Um, it allows for so much more to happen when you connect with someone physically. Yeah, I know about that myself. Self-employment. Alright? So it's highlighted here for you if you are self-employed or thinking about it. It's a go. Alright, so we'll finish this up at the website. Alright? Uh, Libra, stay in prayer. Now that I'm praying for you, pray for me as well. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I hope that everybody experiences at least half of this energy, if not all. Um, all of my information is below if you want to get in contact with me. Okay, take care, guys.